Good morning, everyone. Lee Taft here. Welcome to Speed Tips from my garage in the classroom. This is episode number 53. Um, I'm shooting this this morning from my phone. My For some reason, I've been shooting it from my computer, widescreen. For some reason, it didn't work, so this might come a little bit smaller, but that's okay. You're going to see everything I need to show you. Hey, one of the things I'm going to start to do now is implement some use of equipment, different things that can help you expand your speed camps, because a lot of you that I talk with actually work with smaller speed camps. You work with a particular team. Maybe you have 15 to 20 athletes. Even if you're up to 40 athletes, you can still do a ton if you put them into like groups of three so you don't need as much equipment. Today we're going to talk about using the power shuffle and how we can progress that from a normal reactive shuffle but we're going to use it as a corrective today. We're going to use low boxes all right and I'm going to show you what you can do because you might say well I don't have any low boxes. Well let me show you. So this right here I'm going to demonstrate today with this. This is actually part of my lifting blocks, okay? So when I do poles and stuff, and we raise up the bar, this is just one of those. It's two inches, but I use it for low box training all the time. This is a great tool. If, if not, certainly this, which is an outstanding box, you can get them from Perform Better, you can get the six inch, or you can get a four inch, which I even like better. This is a really good tool. If you're in the weight room, Use a plate. These are excellent. Anytime I do workshops around the country or outside the country, and, and I'm in a weight room usually, these are what we use, okay? They're perfect, and they don't move, so they're excellent to use. And any other thing along that line. So let me go ahead and get started with this. So what I want to teach today is, what, so for example, here, let me get this out of the way for a second. So if we're working on that hard, hard shuffle, and we're moving, well, here's a great exercise we can use, and we can eventually add more resistance through the use of bands, which I'll show you down the road. So what I do is, when we shuffle, remember, my back side should be lower than my front side, okay? So the box is perfect for that, because I need more time on the ground so my pelvic tilts, so my leg can push farther, and the front side lifts so it can clear to create the gate action, okay? So what we do is we start here and we just power over the box. And then we walk back. If we're only training the right leg for the first set, we start here, let me back up a little bit so you can see my leg. And we push, we come back and we push. And then what we do is we go both ways, okay? So we push, reset, push, push. Now, eventually, like I said, you can make this a more resisted type form of training by adding a band to the athlete, then it makes them push harder. And I'll show you that later, because you can manipulate the upper body as well if I want to control more swaying to the right and to the left in the frontal plane. But this is an excellent exercise to do with your speed camp athletes or your training sessions, just general training sessions in your performance facility because it teaches the athletes to be able to stay level, to be able to gain distance. I do not want to just switch my feet. I want to gain distance and travel over the box. That's what a lateral shuffle is all about. Okay, hey, we'll see you tomorrow for episode number 54. You guys have an awesome day. Thanks, Val.